I'm Robin. And I'm Amy. And we're here at the photo studio answering your infrequently asked questions. Considering our current situation, <laughs> time travel backwards <laughs> five years. But would you tra time travel backwards five years to resolve this issue? Or Good would you point. want to time travel forward to just know avoid what's it? What's gonna happen? Yeah, well, yeah, just like bypass just it. Gone. Just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> No, most of them are accurate. <laughs> I'm so sorry to say. Uh, hence me not living there. <laughs> I just found a pair at the op shop and fell in love with it. I think I prefer going forwards on all like rolling activities. I can't go sideways on skateboards. Um, I've always like skied. So I just feel like going forwards is like a good motion for me. So roller skating was like the thing yeah. to do. I like going <laughs> forwards in life. <laughs> it's a metaphor. <laughs> Maybe Halloween, our little Halloween party that we had. Yeah, that was my thought as well. Yeah, yeah. it was a good little boogie. We got a chance to see everybody dressed up. Everyone got pretty into it. Yeah. Yeah. So. What did you dress up as? Well, I was a dead roller skater, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just really wanted to wear roller skates and roller skate in the studio. <laughs> yeah. Dead disco girl. Some yeah, that, that was it, yeah. And I was a giant eyeball. <laughs> so, you know, casual. <laughs> Jin Dan. Yes. Jin Dan, hands down. It's just flawless. Yeah, like, I always admire everything that she wears mm -hmm. every day. She's never had a bad day. No. Yeah. And she can wear like these loose like tube socks and you're like, <laughs> wow, why have I never thought? But I would look like I would look like I was wearing a potato sack. <laughs> and she's like just all trendy and amazing. I know, I know. <laughs> so I love to hula hoop. And I went to a festival confest and they have this amazing like fire circle that anyone can go try. Um, and it was just like my lifelong dream to try fire twirling. I bought myself a fire hoop and that was my first time ever fire hooping. And it was scary as hell <laughs> and exciting at the same time. And I burnt a little bit of my arm hair off. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon just getting to work with the people that are here. I think we have such an incredible team of creatives, people who are super like down to earth and humble and funny and caring and loving. And I think being able to work with all of those people is just really cool and fun to do. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One that's immediately coming to my mind is, I believe maybe it was Mireya's client asked her out on a date or was like flirting with her afterwards. Wait, wasn't it? I heard that happened to Rachel. Look how sorry, actually. Look how you get asked out by a client once, you get asked out like on a date. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 All right, thank you very much, guys. I appreciate you coming in and answering these questions. Thank you. Right. Thanks. Bye. 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 Amy, you're just crying. Shall we end on this note? <laughs> How did we get here? <laughs> <laughs>